Hey Guru Nation, welcome back to the clinicaltrialsguru.com. So, I've been doing a lot of conference calls today with potential clients and this question keeps coming up. It's, hey, why is it a good idea for a doctor to participate in clinical research? Or more specifically, why is it a good idea for a physician to partner with me, an entrepreneur, to co-own a research site? And the answer is, it may not be a good idea. I mean, it depends on, just because they're a doctor doesn't mean they're gonna be a good business person, right? So it depends on expectations, how much work you're gonna divvy up amongst yourselves, how you're gonna divvy it up amongst yourselves. So I'm assuming for most people, they just need the PI to have oversight of the study and not necessarily be hands-on with the operations. However, many physicians prefer that they are hands-on in the operations if they're actually the business owner or co-owners. So the answer really is it depends. It depends on who the physician is, all right? I know some physicians that uh, regret ever getting into research because they didn't realize that they have to meet with monitors regularly and they didn't go out and hire a coordinator so they're the ones actually entering data in the EDC. Of course it's a nightmare for them, all right? So expectations is important. Are you gonna have a study coordinator? Which office are you gonna use? Are you using the physician's office? Uh, is the physician actually gonna be doing anything that a study coordinator would typically do? Are you gonna be doing anything a study coordinator would do? Who's gonna go out and get the studies? Who's gonna negotiate the budgets? Who's gonna make sure patients are being enrolled, all right? If you don't think that your PI can help you out with all these things because when you're a business owner, you have to do a lot of the intangibles, okay? So it's not just that you're the PI and you have oversight of your study. If that's all they wanna do, that's fine. I don't suggest you partner with them as a business partner. I suggest you hire them as an independent contractor or even as an employee, all right? And you pay them either a salary or a percentage of the study budget. But if they have some inkling into wanting to do this, or they have some real value that they bring to the table, then it is a good idea for them to do it, okay? So uh, some of the positives for physicians getting into clinical research, either as an investigator or just as a business site owner, is obviously an extra revenue stream that they can use to subsidize their private practice, right? So this is obviously important for many physicians. Also, it puts them, it's sort of in the cutting edge. Um, it puts them in the way of innovations that are coming out. So uh, they oftentimes get to work on treatments uh, before they reach the public because that's what clinical trials are. So there are a lot of other benefits, but there's also a lot of cons, okay? And it, you, you have to know who you're partnering with. If you're not the physician and you're partnering with the physician, you've got to know who you're partnering with. And if you are the physician, you've got to know, do you need to partner with someone or are you willing to take responsibility uh, to do all the work that's required to participate in a clinical trial and to have a research site of your own? So. That's in a nutshell what I think um, is the answer, and everyone's situation is different, but hopefully this video is able to help you out. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.